My name's Alistair Rutledge. I'm the postgraduate tutor in Applied Maths. Research in Applied Maths covers a fairly wide spect spectrum and it's not particularly clearly differentiated between the different areas. We do a lot of work on fluid mechanics, uh, different aspects of that, astrophysical fluid mechanics, for example, the Sun, the interior of the Earth, and giant planets like Jupiter. Uh, we have work or people working on polymeric fluids, so uh, the drops in an inkjet printer, and uh, as well as other aspects of polymeric physics. And we've got people working on fluid dynamics from the point of view of a nonlinear dynamics problem. There's, a, there's a, other people working nonlinear dynamics, different aspects of nonlinearity. And uh, there's a group on who work on uh, mathematical biology. It's a, a, a fairly recent addition, uh, at least a recent a direct new direction for the department. Um, We've got people working on integrable systems, which is on the borderline between applied maths, pure maths, and uh, theoretical physics. And finally, uh, much of applied maths is concerned with solving problems numerically, and so we've got a, uh, an important group working on numerical methods uh, applied to the examples I've just talked about, as well as to industrial problems. Most recently, I've been working on research in nonlinear dynamics in fluids. So if you imagine a tray of oil and you shake it up and down, then the surface of the oil will remain flat. But if you shake it hard enough, you get patterns that are formed on the surface. And there's some really interesting ones that have been discovered fairly re recently in experiments. And at the heart of these patterns is a connection between rational and irrational numbers. You wouldn't necessarily think of it from an experiment, but there's some very deep mathematics that goes along in, in, in that problem. The combination of nonlinear dynamics and these, this issue of rationality and irrationality. I'm currently supervising five PhD students. One of them just started this morning, in fact. Uh, I've got uh, two students with a UK background. One uh, was formerly um, an undergraduate in Manchester and one of them was a, a lead student. Uh, the three international students, one's from Sri Lanka, one from Thailand, and uh, the one who's just starting is from Saudi Arabia. So most of the students will have had a, a background as an undergraduate degree in mathematics, perhaps a, a master's degree. Uh, in some cases, especially for international students, it's more common for people to already start working in their university as a lecturer, and then they, they come to the UK to further their education. There's a variety of ways people can learn about uh, the research that we do and the potential uh, PhD projects. Uh, the web is the first place to look. We have a, a web page uh, where every, every member of staff has uh, some information about the work that they do. We have a, a listing of uh, sample PhD projects. Uh, you're not necessarily going to do any particular one of those, but, but they, those give an idea of, of what kinds of things uh, supervisors have in mind. Uh, that's on our web page. It's also listed in, a, in a, uh, an external web page called findaphd.com. And uh, finally, uh, come and visit. Uh, we're always happy to talk to uh, p potential PhD candidates, either uh, you know, drop in or telephone or come to one of our open days. When you're uh, choosing between different universities uh, to do a PhD, the important thing is to find a project and a supervisor that's going to keep you, you know, it's really going to engage your interest. And there, there is many, much of interest going on in, in, at the University of Leeds. Uh, people working at the forefront of their uh, research areas uh, with an in international profiles. So there's uh, lots of good reasons to come here. If you want to apply for entry as a PhD student, uh, get in touch with the postgraduate secretary. Their email, ad her email address is, uh, is, is on the web. Um, there is an online application process. Uh, you need to complete that form and, um, and upload your transcripts, names of referees and, and such. Um, uh, the, the form asks for a uh, research proposal. Um, it, that, that isn't strictly necessary, but it's ha very helpful to have an idea of the kind of research area that, uh, that, that you find interesting. And if you have any question, feel free to contact um, the postgraduate secretary or any of the postgraduate tutors.